Get you down. Mrs. Raven and Offie here, and I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday morning or whenever you're watching this here on the YouTube channel. Now, today we have two announcements, and then we're going to do worship. So let's go through our announcements. Our announcements is tonight we're doing our Fall Fest. Come out. It's a fun time. There's some games. There's prizes. There's going to be so much fun. I might be dressing up as, I don't know. You have to wait. You have to find out. So come out. It's at Columbia Presbyterian Church at 5 p.m. It's during our community meal. There's chili. There's going to be popcorn, games, prizes, all that fun stuff. And two, you know, now we're getting closer to the Christmas season. We are doing kids Christmas. We are giving a free breakfast and there might be a special guest. We're not going to announce who just yet. But it's a free breakfast and a special guest and some other things going on. If you want to come to that, that is December 17th at 9 a.m. Now, if you do want to sign up for toys, you have to email me at kidschristmascpc at gmail.com. It will be, you'll just send in an email to me and I will get you signed up for free toys if you are in need of toys. So now, now that all those announcements are done, let's dive into worship. We're going to do one song because we had announcements. And then we're going to move to our Bible story, which is the fourth and final week of our um, biblical crossing. So let's dive into worship. We're going to do Won't Worry About a Thing so everyone can stand up. Make sure you have some room, make sure you have some space, and let's dive into worship.
on to our Bible story. Alright, now we're on to our Bible story. Now, like I said earlier, we are going through our series of Biblical Crossing. And today is the last part. And our focus is give the gift of salvation. Like Animal Crossing, one of the goals is to give special gifts to people around you. And it's true about us. You know, we as humans love to give gifts. It's not always easy. Um, but, you know, one gift that we can give for free is the gift that God has for us. And, you know, when Jesus died on the cross, he built a bridge for us so we can ask God for forgiveness and live with them in heaven. And that's what we're actually going to talk about. We're going to be talking about Jesus being raised from the dead. If you want to follow along, we are in Mark 16. I'm going to go 1 through 8. You want to open your Bibles? Let's dive in. The day of rest was over. Mary Madeline and Mary, the mother of James, brought spices. They went to put spices on Jesus' body. Very early in the morning on the first day of that week, they came to the grave. The sun had come up. They said to themselves, Who will roll the sun away from the door of the grave for us? But when they looked, they saw the very large stone had been rolled away. They went to the grave, and there was a young man with a white cloth sitting on the right side. They were afraid. He said, do not be afraid. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was nailed to the cross. He is risen. He is not here. See here is the place he had laid. Go and tell his followers and Peter at, that he is gone ahead of you into Galilee. You see him there as he told you. They ran from the grave shaking and were surprised. They didn't say anything to anyone because they were afraid. So, let's backtrack. Jesus died on the cross. And when the three days passed, he rose from the grave. And the two Marys and there was someone else came to the grave to give, to put spices on Jesus. And... You know, they were like, well, we're not that strong, so I don't know how we're going to do the grave. Grow the stone. And the stone was already rolled because Jesus woke up and he was raised from the grave and angels pushed the grave away. And, you know, the angels saw Mary and they were like, hey, you need to tell people that Jesus is risen. And they didn't because they were afraid. And, you know... That's a lot of the time that's like us. You know, we have this great gift, which is the salvation of Jesus. And we are scared to tell people about it. Because it's easier not to tell people. And you, there's also the fear of being rejected. You know, we have a fear of being rejected because of our faith. And God doesn't want that for us. God wants us to share his salvation and give this gift of salvation to other people. And again, easier said than done, obviously. But when we follow God, he'll help us through it. And he'll help us find the right words to say. And, you know... Later on in the story, Jesus saw Peter and his disciples, and he went and saw them for 30 days, and then he went up to heaven. And we're going to learn more about that later in our next coming series. But what I want you guys to remember is that, you know, we have this wonderful gift. When we follow Jesus, we have the gift of his salvation. And not everyone has that. And so we have to share the gift to other people. And I encourage you, Kitch Jammers, to share the gift and share the love of Jesus. So let's bow our heads and close our eyes. 
Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, Lord, just pray that you would just be with us. Help us to share the salvation, your gift of salvation to others. I just pray for a head of protection. Keep us safe. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, good jam. I'll see you later. And happy Halloween.